Later, Jimmy Fallon welcomes Julianne Moore, NBC Tonight. How did you find us? I ran. Where's your mom? Home. Does your mom ever leave the house? No. He doesn't let her. Who's he? The monster. Chicago PD. New. May 1st on NBC and Peacock. One of our members was killed. I buried him. <sighs> Stabler's still inside. We're on lockdown. You ain't one of us. What are you? NYPD? Law and Order Organized Crime. Thursday on NBC and Peacock. This is NBC4 News at 11. Now at 11, a popular park in Long Beach blocked off with police cars well into the night after police shoot and kill a man they say had a gun. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. This happened at MacArthur Park. NBC4's Macy Jenkins live there tonight with more on this investigation and why officers opened fire. Macy. Hi, Colleen. Well, we still have limited details, but what we do know is that one officer fired their weapon. Now, this is a popular destination, as you said, a bustling area for families to come after school and after work. But today, when neighbors got back to the area, they found the entire block and park surrounded by yellow tape. A few blocks south of PCH, Long Beach locals used to hearing children playing at MacArthur Park instead heard gunshots and sirens Wednesday afternoon. Long Beach police say they got the call at 421 p.m. about a person with a gun in the park. When officers arrived, investigators say they spotted the man and confronted him. They gave orders for the suspect to put down the firearm. However, he did not comply with those orders and an officer involved shooting occurred. Police say officers immediately rendered medical aid until Long Beach Fire Department arrived. The man was taken to the hospital where he died. At this point, um, he's being identified as a male adult um, and we'll have uh, more information once next of kin and all those notifications have been no uh, made. Investigators recovered this handgun with what appears to be a rubber band wrapped around the grip. It's still unclear whether the man threatened anyone in the park, but police say no bystanders or officers were injured. Now, the, the officers involved were wearing body cameras, and police say once that footage is reviewed, it will be released to the public. The DA's office will, in, will conduct its own investigation, an independent investigation, which is standard procedure anytime there is an officer-involved shooting. Reporting live in Long Beach tonight, Macy Jenkins, NBC4 News. Macy, thank you for that. Meantime, surveillance cameras in San Fernando captured this woman being attacked here. Her purse was stolen. Police haven't found the guy who did this yet. NBC 4's Darsha Phillips, though, live outside the police department with some new surveillance video of this attack. Darsha? Yeah, Colleen, this attack happened in the middle of the day, not far away from the police station where we are right now. And the woman in this video had just purchased a bouquet of flowers for her mother when she was violently attacked from behind. Pushed to the ground, then her purse violently ripped from her. He pushed me really hard and I hit my head on the door. The savage attack Monday afternoon was caught on several surveillance cameras. Here's another angle. Julia Murillo was walking to her apartment, her hands filled with flowers for her mother's birthday, when a man drives up in a dark sedan and attacks her from behind. I just kept saying, what are you doing, what are you doing? He used force to turn me over, and he pulled up my purse and took off. The man gets back into his car and speeds down Park Avenue toward First Street. I had my keys in there, my car keys, my ID, my card. Shortly after, it was, um, they attempted to use it on PayPal accounts. Julia says her purse was later found dumped, but the trauma of the attack is hard to shake. I'm a daughter, I'm a sister, I'm a friend, like I'm a loved one, and I don't think no one, no loved one should go through this. The San Fernando Police Department is less than a half mile away, and its detectives are using flock cameras like these to help track down the suspect. Flock captures vehicle data that can be searched by law enforcement to narrow down potential vehicles involved in the crime. Law enforcement telling people in the area to be aware of their surroundings, even in broad daylight. Don't fight for the property. It's replaceable. You know, um, your life is not replaceable. Now, police do not have a detailed description of the site.